Grand unboxing. This is our Vitron MPPT charge controller. Okay, so a little bit of progress here. We've got the rack system in with one shelf on the bottom and I've painted the walls apart from that wall. So uh, let's start putting some batteries in. So you've got the first row on. Six batteries per shelf. It's a 48 volt system. It's getting there. And there the batteries if anyone's interested. All right, second row. Whew, this is heavy work. This shelving unit is a uh, pretty heavy duty. It's uh, all adjustable and it's rated for nearly 800 kilos per shelf. So these are only about, I don't know, 250 per shelf. So well within the limits. Third shelf, I didn't uh, film this because I don't think you want to hear my huffing and puffing. These are heavy. So, last battery, that's 24 of them, that's a hard half an hour. Alright, battery bank done. Next step is I'll get the multimeter and I'll test each one. I tested them all yesterday, they seem pretty good apart from one. Um, so we'll test them all and I'll write what the volts are and the date that I tested it. Uh, just so I've got a record on each battery. So this is our solar combiner box. This is basically uh, all the solar panel cables come in through the top and go into these. So we've got four strings of panels and it's just a, br a breaker on each one. So we can isolate uh, the panels from the system and then we bring the main cable from here positive from here, out the top, uh, into the MPPT, and then same from here with a negative, and then that goes into the MPPT controller, which we'll put on next. This is like a grand unboxing. This is our Vitron MPPT charge controller, and you can see it's a uh, 150 volts, uh, 100 amps. Bluetooth enabled, so you check it out on your phone. Vitron do amazing stuff. I'm almost too scared to take it out of the packet. This thing is massive. Look at it. That is awesome. And that'll go on the wall. So our wires from the combiner box will come out and go into here and then cables from here go to our battery bank and then basically we're charging okay so we've just installed the uh, DC junction box on the uh, on the wall here just sort of deciding the location for everything. You know, I've had a bit of a few drawings of where I want to put stuff, so I think the main inverter is going to go over here, and then we'll put the charge controller down there, so the cables can, down here, sorry, so the cables can go to the batteries, and then they'll also go into the, into there, and then we'll be able to come from the battery Sorry, from the battery along here and up to the inverter. That's what I'm thinking. I've just mounted the Vitron MPPT controller. It's rated for 150 volt, uh, 100 amp. So that'll get hooked up to these, control these batteries. This plastic is just temporary. It's just for a bit of a dust cover kind of while I'm working in here. Uh, we've got our sol solar isolation board. So panels will come in from the, into the top and then they'll go from here into the controller, but that's how we separate the panels. 
uh, then we go from here to the batteries. Uh, probably going to have a uh, like a fusible isolator switch. Don't know what they're called, but I know the product that I I need to get. So they'll probably go here in line from the cables from here to the batteries. Uh, next thing we're doing is I'm just lab labeling the batteries now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Going to get the multimeter. Uh, we're just going to test each battery for the volts. So there should be high twos, maybe 2.8, 2.9, something like that. Uh, and I'll just write on the battery with a Sharpie what they tested and what date I tested it. Um, that way, down the track, in six months, a year, two years, if we ever have a problem uh, and something's not working right in the system, I'll be able to tell uh, if I've dropped a cell or if one of the batteries has um, gone bad. So I'll test them again, and each time I do that, I'll write another date and what they test. Uh, so that's just what I'm doing now, pretty simple. Uh, then we've got these flat bars, which will join our batteries together. So we join all these two volt batteries together to make a 48 volt bank. Um, so these will just go on each battery, tunk, 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 like that. And then they'll have cable, probably upwards of 70 square mil, maybe to 100 square mil cable. That comes, I don't know what gauge that is. That comes from, joins from shelf to shelf, basically, because they've got to kind of loop in together. That's it, I'll touch back shortly. Okay, so I've just tested a, a row. Um, I'll zoom in in a second just to show you what I wrote down, but I just wrote, it's got the battery number. So I started from the top, number this is number one, and it works through. So here's number seven. The date is the 10th of the 10th of 20, 2020. So it's 10th uh, of, of October. And it tested uh, 2.096 volts. Um, I know I said in the last video it'd be high twos. I got a little bit mixed up, sorry. So it'll be, it's close to 2.1 volts. So I presume that's um, in the in the ballpark. I don't have anything to go off. This is all sort of new to me. So 2.096, 2.090, 2.092, and 2.093. So they're all pretty close. So I'll just zoom in and show you what I wrote on there. So that's that. So just a reference for later. I've tested them all. They're all pretty good. Uh, next thing we do is we've got to join them in series. Pretty sure it's series. I always get series and parallel confused. But what we're doing is we're basically converting these six 2 volt batteries into one large 12 volt battery. So with these flat plates, I will connect positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, all the way down. And that will give me 12 volts. If I was to do, join all the positives together and all the negatives together, I would still only have two volts, but a lot of amp hours. So currently I'm going 12 volt in series, and then we have each shelf is 12 volt, and then they will jo all join together, and that will make 48 volt at the end of the day. So I'll just start by screwing these things on. So I'll just screw them all on uh, loosely for now, and then I will go get my uh, little socket, which... I've made a little special tool, just a socket, um, little ratchet thing, but it's all wrapped up in tape and stuff, so uh, that'll be only used in here, because I don't want to have any sort of excess exposed metal when dealing with the batteries, because that could just go bad. So all these, um, I've already had all these bolts out, cleaned all the terminals, cleaned all these plates, so... 
get them all on like this. Just got to keep uh, a bit of concentration to make sure that you're uh, doing it correctly. Because if you do it wrong and you don't realise, kaboom. So on the, for example, on the bottom row that I did, I didn't realise that I had one battery which was turned the opposite direction. So instead of me going um, a positive to a negative, I was going to go a positive to positive and then continue the circuit. I went, oh shit, that that's not good. So you've got to keep, keep your eyes open and stay focused. So these terminals are uh, the correct length. Um, if I have all these batteries basically sitting like this, um, they are the correct length for that. But I've just been um, on a few forums and a few Facebook pages lately, um, and people are suggesting a bit of a gap is good. So I've just got to rotate these slightly. It won't affect how the battery performs. They're just on a bit of an angle. Just got got to get over my OCD of having them not square. So that, that's the biggest problem. Okay, so I've just put all these terminal bars on, I suppose you call them. Um, double check, red to black, 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 all good. And I'm I haven't tightened these fully down yet, they're just hand tight. Now I get the multimeter, set it on DC volts, and uh, just double check what we've got, and it comes up 12.56 volts. So I'll just write that down on here, 12.56. Six on the tenth of the tenth of twenty, and that way I've got these labelled with what they test individually. I've got them labelled as what they test as a full as a full bank. I hope I was in frame then. As a full bank, uh, I've just got one more row to go, and then um, yeah, that's about it. I don't have the cables that join uh, this row to this row but that's okay i'll get them made got a few other cables that i need to get made at a certain length as well um go from there enjoy <laughs> <laughs>